Hello Avengers and Neil Sixth Grade Eagles. In this video, you are going to learn how to complete a table and make a graph. The assignment is on IXL and it is sixth grade R11. If we jump over to IXL, the link will be in the description. We can see our first problem and it says, Ernesto is creating a scale drawing of his bedroom. One inch in his drawing represents 12 inches in his bedroom. From here then, we need to figure out what exactly are we doing? I'm going to zoom in and use the pen to solve the problem in the table. And then we are going to transfer the table to the graph. If we look at this problem, it says that one inch in the drawing is going to be 12 inches on the bedroom. And then it scales up and goes from 12 to 24. And so we need to think, what is my scale factor there? How much have they multiplied to get from 12 to 24? And we know that they multiplied times 2. You can do this by taking 24 divided by 12 and you get 2. Or hopefully you just know that 12 times 2 is 24. Remember our rule, if we do something to the top, we have to do the same thing to the bottom. And so we can then take 1 times 2 is going to be equal to 12. Sorry, 2. In this problem, we see that we can go from 1 to 5, and we know that 1 times 5 is equal to 5. So we need to do the same thing on the top and take 12 times 5, which is going to give us 60. In the last section, we have 1 and 8, and then 12 and a blank. So we're going to go 1 times what gives me 8, and we know that 1 times 8 is 8. So we're going to do the same thing on the top, 12 times 8. And if you do 12 times 8, you can do it on a calculator, or you could do it in your head. 12 times 8 is going to be 90. Six. We can now take what we have done in the table and put it onto the graph. You'll notice that the y-axis is labeled as being the drawing, and the x-axis, the one that goes side to side, is labeled as being the bedroom. If we look at our table, we have one drawing corresponds to 12 inches in the bedroom. So let's go up one on the y-axis, which is drawings, and then go over to 12 on the x-axis, which is the bedroom. Put a point there. We look at the next one, and it says if the drawing is 2, that corresponds to 24 inches in the bedroom. So we go up 2 on the drawing, and then we go over to 24 inches in the bedroom. You should start to notice that this pattern is making a line. We then look and we say that what if we have 60 inches in the bedroom? Then that corresponds to 5 inches in the drawing. So we go over 60 inches, and then we go up to where it says 5 inches in the drawing. The last one, it has 96 inches for the actual room, and then that corresponds to 8 inches in the drawing. So we go on the x-axis and find 96 inches, and then we go up until it connects with the 8 inches in the drawing. And so this is our final graph and our table, and we submit.
In this problem, again, we are going to complete the table. Notice first that there's a pretty easy pattern here, and it's a multiplication pattern that goes 5, 10, 15, and then 20. And so because of that skip counting, we know that 5 times 2 is 10, and then 5 times 3 is 15, and 5 times 4 is 20. So we can do all of those things on the bottom, 10 times 2, is 20, 10 times 3 is 30, and 10 times 4 is 40. Notice also that there's a multiplication relationship going up and down. 5 times 2 is 10, 10 times 2 is 20, 15 times 2 is 30, and 20 times 2 is 40. So remember that our relationship going across is called the scale factor and the relationship between minutes and pages is called the unit rate or the constant of proportionality or when you get to eighth grade it will be called the slope we now need to take our graph or our table and put it onto the graph notice that minutes corresponds with the x-axis and pages corresponds with the y-axis. If we have five minutes, then that is going to be 10 pages. So I go five over on the minutes and then up to 10 on the pages. If I have 10 minutes, then that corresponds to 20 pages. So I go 10 minutes and then go up to 20 pages. Notice again that this relationship is going to create a line pattern. If I have 15 minutes, that corresponds to 30 pages going up on what I read. And if I have 20 minutes, it corresponds to 40 pages. This problem, it says the Greenfield Community Picnic is today. The organizers are making two pulled pork sandwiches for every five barbecue chicken sandwiches. So we need to complete the table by using what we know about ratios. If we look, we can see a relationship from two to six. Two times three equals six. Whatever we do on the top, we do the same thing on the bottom. Five times three is equal to 15. In the next section, we can see that we don't have a relationship from 2 to a blank, but we do have a relationship from 5 to 25. So we can do 5 times 5 is equal to 25. And since we did it on the bottom, we do the same thing on the top. 2 times 5 is equal to 10. The last section does not have a relationship from 5 to the blank, but it does have a relationship between 2 and 14. We know that 2 times 7 makes 14, and so I take 5 times 7 and I get 35. We now need to take our table and put it onto the graph. Notice that pork sandwiches is on the x-axis and chicken sandwiches is on the y-axis. For every two pork sandwiches, we get five chicken sandwiches. So I'm gonna go two on the x-axis and then I go to where it says five on the y-axis and put my dot there. For every six pork sandwiches, I get 15 chicken sandwiches. So I find 6 on the x-axis, and then I find 15 on the y-axis. For every 10 pork sandwiches, I have 25 chicken sandwiches. So I'm going to find 10 on the x-axis, and then 25 on the y-axis. Notice again that it is making a line. That is called a proportional relationship. 
and it indicates that what you have done in your graph is correct. Finally, for every 14 pork sandwiches, we have 35 chicken sandwiches. So I find 14 on the x-axis, and then I go up until I get to 35 on the y-axis. In this assignment, you learned how to complete a table and make a graph using ratios and rates.